Okay, welcome everyone to visionrecordingstudios.com and here's um, a tip that I learned from my good friend Tim over at the PreSonus forums. Um, I had posted a message on the PreSonus uh, community forum a while back about how you can make in Studio One um, a favorites folder for your plugins, specifically third-party plugins. So, for example, um, if you take a look at our browser here and click on the effects tab, and let's say, for example, my Waves uh, plugins. <clears throat> let's say out of all these Wave plugins, there was like three or four of them that I really uh, like to use all the time. And I didn't want to have to scroll through this entire list every time I'm trying to use that plugin. So if I wanted to use the Deesser or uh, the Doubler um, quite often, and I want to put them like kind of in a favorites list, so I didn't have to scroll through all my plugins. <clears throat> Excuse me, every time I want to use one of these plugins. How do you do that? Um, and here's a good tip and here's the, here's how you do that. So if you want to create your own favorites folder for specific plugins, third party plugins in particular, this is how you do it. So you open up your browser here and you click on files down here at the bottom and you go to the hard drive that has all your studio one song files. So in my case it's this 640 gig hard drive. So I click that open and I go to my studio one folder and I go under my Studio One Songs, which is my directory, and I go under the Presets folder. So when you go under your Studio One folder, you should have a, uh, a folder called Presets. Okay, and then you right-click on Presets, and you go to, say, New Folder. And we can name the new folder here, and let's call this Waves Favorites. And then click OK. And as you can see, there is a Waves favorite folder now. Okay, there's nothing in it, but there's a Waves favorite folder. Okay, so now I have just an open um, session here. It could be any song file, any session that you have. I have one called Test. I use this when I'm testing out different things. It's not a, a client project or a personal project. It's just kind of a, a test song file here um, that I set up as my... Uh, I set up a user template, mixing template, and that's what this is. So just disregard all these channels. And now let's say um, I want to put my, I want to put certain wave plugins in my wave, um, my wave, uh, my wave's favorite folder. So over here where it says the new folder that you created that says wave's favorite, you just highlight this and right click, and you're going to pick a new tab from here. Okay, so you click on that. And you can see here at the top now, I have a tab called Waves Favorites, okay, which is different from my effects tabs. These are all my Waves plugins, but I also now have under File, a folder called Waves Favorite, okay? So now, how do you get your plugins into that folder? Great question, okay? So you go to your effects, and let's go to where my main plugins are, and here's all my Waves plugins. And let's say I want to take this first one, the C1 Compression Mono. Just take this and drag it onto any audio track in your test uh, folder. And here's my compressor, okay? So I can just close this. And I just have it as, it's set up as a default, but let's say you had a specific preset that you, <clears throat> that you set up in one of your favorite plugins. This one is just the default. You can just choose that preset. I don't have any presets set up for this particular plugin. So just close it, okay? So now you see it here on this track. Go back over to Files, go to my Waves folder, and just take this compressor and just drag it into the folder. Okay, and there it is. Now you can right click on it and you can rename it if I wanna call it, uh, or excuse me, not delete, if I wanna just rename this is something that, that makes more sense to you, you can say uh, rename preset and I can call this uh, C1 compressor. Okay, hit okay. And now here's my C1 compressor. So let's remove this from the track just to show you that it works. So let's remove this. Now let's say I want to add that compressor to this audio track. I just go to my Waves favorite folder, take my compressor just like I did before, and there it is. Just like I would if I was in my effects tabs. Okay, so let's try another one. So let's say we want to add something else to this. Let's remove this. Let's take this, uh, <clears throat> again, the deesser. So let's take the deesser, drag it over here. Okay, we can even close it. Let's take the doubler, let's drag that over here, and then let's take one more. Let's take uh, this um, max bass mono. Let's take that plugin, okay? So here's three new plugins that I just added to this particular channel, the Waves DSer, the doubler, and the max bass. So now again, I go over to files. I'm in my Waves favorite folder again that I created, and I just take these one at a time 
and just drag them over. The doubler and the max base. Again, and if I want to um, rename this, if I don't want this to be called audio mono, de or mono, you could just right click on it. Uh, rename preset is what you want to click on, and just call this de -esser. And if I want to rename this one, same thing, right click, rename preset, max base. And if I want to rename this one, rename preset, doubler. And it's as simple as that. So now I can just remove these from my, from this test uh, session. Now any song file, any session that I open, um, uh, any PreSonus session, any uh, Studio One session, excuse me, I'll now, from now on, every time I launch Studio One, I'll have this folder called Waves Favorites. And I've done this with my Universal Audio plugins. You can see it here. I add all the Universal Audio plugins that I use on a regular basis in a folder called UA Plugins. So that's how you do it. So that's an easy way to create a folder for your favorite plugins. You don't have to call this by a manufacturer. You could just have a folder called compressors. And if you have plugins from five or six different manufacturers, five or six different types of compressors that you always like to use, you can do the same thing I just did here and have a, a list of compressors or a list of delays or a list of reverbs or however you want to do it. Now, if you wanted to delete this, I think you would go back into our Studio One. And here's my Waves favorite. And if I right click on that, I think I should be able to delete this here, delete folder. And it says, do you sure you want to delete the permanently from the disk? Here's the Waves preset favorite, yes. So that's how you do it. That's how you add a, a favorites folder for your favorite plugin. So hope that was helpful again. Thanks to Tim over at the PreSonus Pre Forum. He's the one that actually showed me how to do this. And I thought I'd create a video because maybe it would help somebody else. Have any questions, you can certainly email me at visionrecordingstudios at yahoo.com. Um, check out our website at visionrecordingstudios.com for all uh, of our videos and teachings and tips and tricks and um, mixing and mastering packages, so on and so forth. Um, and also check out the homestudiotrainer.com if you're a big PreSonus guy like myself. Uh, Johnny over there is doing a great job educating the entry level and intermediate level uh, mix engineers and recording enthusiasts. So until next time, thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon.